Welcome back to Antibles, everyone. So we had a major breakout today with MARK in the Antibles room. Mentioned them at $1.65. Worked our way up, going to extended hours, all up to $3.28. Over 80% on that breakout. Want to make sure we do cover exactly which levels we are trying to hold above to make sure we do not have a continuation sell-off as we did come down after that major spike going to extended hours. I'm going to go over exactly which levels we are trying to hold above to have a continuation. What exact indicators I would be looking for to make sure we do have confirmation. And all I ask in return is you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go over MARK with you guys here on the 5 minute chart. I'm going to show you guys exactly how today played out, what we're looking out for as a continuation, and what exact levels we are trying to climb back over to have a continuation. What exact level would give us that blue sky breakout, but if we did continue to sell off, what exact level I would be looking to see if we can get a bounce at. But before we do get started, I want to mention that we do alert penny stock and breakout alerts of the day. We did mention DWAC yesterday in pre-market at about $10.00. Jumping up all the way to $175 on the day, over 1,600% within that two-day period. Also did mention PHUN right before going to extended hours yesterday at $1.35 as a sympathy to DWAC. Had that major breakout from $1.35 all the way up to $24 going to today, over 1,800% on that breakout. And we did, of course, mention MARK today at $1.65. Jumping up and very choppy, but sure enough, made our way up to $3.28 going to extended hours over 70% on that breakout. And lastly, we had another sympathy to DWAC, which is also a SPAC, Benny, B-E-N-E, -E, had a major breakout that we mentioned at $10.82, jumping up all the way to $18.90 on the day, over 70% on that breakout. If you guys do want to see all of our breakout alerts of the day, go to instables.com in the description below, and you guys will never miss a breakout alert today again. So as you guys can see here on the five minute chart, we have been continuing on up, now bouncing off the 200 moving average, looking to see if we can respect this 200 moving average going to extended hours. Sure enough, did and had that major spike going to extended hours. Again, a lot of speculation volume here on MARK. And the reason why there's a lot of speculation volume is because Trump follows MARK on social media. And if MARK were to happen to be used on Trump Media Technology Group's app, then we could have a major breakout here with MARK. But we're going to make sure we do keep that in mind. Again, as you guys can see here on DWAC, we have, again, that continuation sell off going to extended hours. Looking to see if we can continue, and as you guys can see, we do have the turning average now crossing below the 50, and if you want to see exactly which levels I would be looking to see if we can get a bounce at with DWAC, then check out our video right before this one, and along with DWAC's video, we mentioned PHUN's video if you guys want to see what might happen there with both of those stocks. Again, major breakouts over 1,500% on each one of those breakouts. Now, jumping back to MARK here, as you guys can see, we did have that major spike, and then we did have that continuation sell-off going to extended hours. And now looking to see if we can respect this 50 to moving average going to next week. In my opinion, if DWAP cannot respect the 200 moving average crossing above the 50, as we did mention here, then in my opinion, we could have that continuation sell off here on MARK. And we're going to definitely keep that on watch. Again, MARK is testing this 50 to moving average. We will not respect this 50 to moving average as DWAP cannot respect their levels as well. Again, a sympathy to DWC, very much on the watch with MARK here. Now, backing up here to the four hour chart so you guys can see what we're looking out for overall and why exactly we are getting rejected exactly at this point. So as you guys can see here, we have very key levels that we did get rejected from previously and had our continuation sell-offs from. As you guys can see, we're getting rejected just to the upside here that we did previously from this bounce. Now looking to see if we can hold above this $2.50 mark. In my opinion, if MARK can climb back over $2.50, then we could see a possible gap up here to $3.28 as we do have a weaker resistance here at about $2.80. So again, we could have that gap up here if we can hold over $2.50 going to next week. And if we can respect $3.28 as a support, then I'll be looking to see if we can test this $4.00. 37 cent mark and in my opinion that blue sky breakout that we're looking for is to break over five dollars as you guys can see we have rejections to the upside right before reaching five dollars and five dollars is a very key psychological resistance if we do not break over five dollars in my opinion breaking over this four dollar and 37 cent mark then we could get the rejection to the upside but again on the sell-off at this point in time, what exactly would I be looking for if we did have a continuation sell-off? As you guys can see, we had our confirmation on this breakout at about $1.07. And as you guys can see, going to extended hours, if we do drop down below the 50 moving average, and we do have the 200 moving average drop down below the 50, then in my opinion, we could be coming back down and testing that 107 mark. So I definitely would be careful here on MARK. Again, a nice run that we did have in the Inspools room. But again, I would definitely be careful making sure we do get more confirmation to have that continuation over this 328 mark. But again, with that said, if you guys do want to see all of our breakout alerts of the day, go to instables.com in the description below, and you guys will never miss a breakout alert that again. And everybody that has been supporting the channel, all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel, much love to everyone you guys as always. Love you guys. And if you guys do like this video, it does help with refine it, and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.